Thank you, Sal. Congratulations, man. Yes, sir. Well, well deserved and well earned. Hey, you're a rare breed, brother. You really are. Really are. Hey, that, that, that's neat when people respect you like that. You know what I mean? It is great. Yeah, it is great. We, we, we appreciate everything you do for Senior Ball. Go ahead and say a little. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Just a minute, we got a gentleman who likes to say something about uh, our inductee. I'm from New York also, and John and I kind of uh, go back to the 70s and 80s. Yes. King Paul County Sports. So we've been buddies for a long time, we're teammates. And John and I joined the team. There was a gentleman on the team at that time named Jim Galloway. And he must have got a legend, a legend, unbelievable player. As far as legends go, John is the best ball player. That's Jim Galloway, not a Long Island. I was trying to say that, but he had a great life. A great guy and a great player and a great life. All right. Way to go, Hank. Appreciate that. That's uh, big stuff to live up to. I, I, I just have to say that I'm so happy to be here tonight. Uh, So blessed to be a part of all of this, and, and I know that you know, win or lose, we do our best. That's all God can give us to do. And I, I just hope that everybody here goes out of this healthy and happy. And I can't tell you how much this means to me. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Well earned. Well earned, well earned. John. Well earned, brother. Well, well deserved. Well deserved. Uh, who do you want to speak for Bobby Davis? Um, See it's Dave. <laughs> All right, fellas, the, the next inductee here that we have today is uh, a fellow off of our team that uh, I used to play against all the time. Used to really hate playing against him because he was a great pitcher and make you look foolish. I know you only make five to ten outs in the season. I do that sometimes in a tournament. So, Bobby can make you look foolish sometimes. So, Bobby Davis, I'd like you to come up here and tell you a few things about Bobby. I want you to read his script in the book, but I also want you to recognize that this is what makes America great is our military. Now, Bobby was all Air Force ten times, so you know he didn't have any heavy duty, okay? He flew around and played softball all his life. But Bobby, I want you to tell us a little bit about your dad too, okay? Oh, my dad. My dad was in Vietnam. And he spent 20 years, well, 19 years, 11 months in the military. He uh, was shot and killed in Vietnam trying to get an airplane into the air. I was in junior high school. I get a phone call. We all go home, and that's what they told me. So. Yep. Now, here's a man that came out of Lakeland High School area. Kathleen. Kathleen, out of the Lakeland area. And this guy was all world in just about everything. He could play all the sports better than anybody else. But he gave his life and his soul to the U.S. Air Force. So, you know, I want to commend Bobby for that. And I also want to commend him for the fact that he's an excellent teammate. He goes behind the scenes. You don't know what Bobby does behind the scenes. He does things. He helps people, people that are hurting people that are down in their luck, people that have lost their jobs. Bobby's funneled money to a lot of people that don't even know who provided that. And that's very, very rare to have a guy like that that seeks no recognition. So, uh, in my mind, this is what a legend is all about. It's not only a great player. If you're playing major plus, you're already a great player. We know that. But a legend goes a little bit above, and that's what we want to recognize and begin to recognize because, guys, they would like to do away with the major plus. But you know, there's thousands of baseball teams and there's only a few in the major leagues. And you guys are in the major leagues. And I don't really care about going to a tournament with 50 teams if I know we can beat 48 of them. It doesn't mean a thing to us. It means something to play against the best and occasionally win. 
And so Bobby Davis is one of those type guys. He's taught me a lot. And so Bobby, we appreciate all that you've done for us, okay? And you are definitely well deserving of this. Okay? Wanna grab that? Wanna grab that behind you there, Ed? And go ahead and just say a few words, if you will, Bobby. Yeah. First off, I'd like to say thank you to Audie. When I started playing with Audie and him, I was actually playing for another team in the four and a half century, and Audie comes over today. I might come and play for me. Well, back then we didn't really get along. We didn't like them, they didn't like us, because Eddie was always cheap. <laughs> <laughs> he was always bringing in the illegal bats and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> just ask any guy on my team, Eddie, you can nothing to think about. <laughs> but then Audie he says, hey, look, we like to put together a 50 team, a 55 team, a 60, and a 65, and just move up every five years. So I said, okay. Audie spends a lot of time spending his money to send us to different places by sponsorship. But not only is Audie a good sponsor, but he's a couple of friends. Great friends. If you need something, Audie will take care of you. The next guy, Deb Rose. Great motivator, great friend. 